Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, he failed to take a single snap in 2003. But now it's Carson Palmer's turn to lead this franchise to the promised land. We'll get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner today. Bengals, Steelers, now! Hello, I'm Dan Stevens and welcome to Heinz Field. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Catches the ball. Staley brings down the floater and is at the 35. Bettis gets the handoff and runs into traffic. D, as it could go anyway here. Intercepted. Bang down at the 39. Johnson takes it off the toss and runs. Palmer passes this one into the plate. Reggie Kelly has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and the will we'll start at their own 22-yard line. Ward grabs the eight yards to go. Ward grabs the rope right side. The defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Webster sacks him way back at the 45. Maddox throws a bullet here, and it's... Palmer makes the throw after the play-action fake. Number 86, up second down. Palmer rifles this one hard over the middle, and the Bengals will take a timeout. Monzeda catches it over the... And that'll do it for the first That's half the of this of one. The Bengals point. are out in front, seven to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Johnson takes the handoff and he heads left. Johnson is at the 45, chased... This one will fall by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Palmer uncorks this to the left sideline. Graham kicks from 40 yards out, and it's through the uprights. Play. Brian Simmons with the tackle. It's intercepted. Intercepted. Run down Bang. at the 42. Delta O'Neill gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Six-yard line. Looks like an even matchup out there. Five receivers, defense is towering with a nickel. Maddox. Maddox airs this one to the left sideline as the reception's made. Burris makes the... Maddox sips it to the left sideline. O'Neal tips it away. Ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Maddox fires this one over the middle and... 
Reed boots it from 50 yards out and can't quite get enough leg behind that one. Puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> third down, two wide outs on the field. And that is going to do it for this one. The Bengals come out on top, 10 to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Bengals stepped it up for sure putting up some good numbers. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his depth passing and has earned our Player of the Game Award. Carson Palmer is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort and you helped carry your team to a nice win. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? You know what it was? We just stuck to our game plan and got the work done today, you know? Our coaches did a great job today getting us ready for this game, and I think their scouting gave us the edge in the end. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.